Hello, it's Burgess Taylor. It's Veterans Day and in support of veterans, I dressed up in my red, white, and blue. I have taken my son, my grandson to the daycare. So I have to keep, um, listen to the phone because just in case they call. So, but I figured I'd show you um, my red, white, and blue. Well, here, we'll show you it this way. My red shoes. The only thing about wearing these kind of little flats is you end up with the toe cleavage. So yes, I'm dressed up in my red, white, and blue. And this gives you uh, what I look like. I'm short. I'm I'm very short. I'm watching a video, and she um, she made a comment on my video, the video response about Nano Ramo. Thought it was really good. Um, what she responded to him and to me actually. Well, let's see if we can fix this so I'm not like all weird. So. I stopped by Starbucks this morning on the way back from taking um, the grandson to daycare and my battery is dying so I'm gonna have to put new batteries in here and then we'll finish up some video and it's um, coffee and the rest of my Starbucks I'm almost finished with it so we can see where we're at this is where I closed last night and I have to put today's words in, but I'm, um, I've only written a little bit. I gotta get back to writing. It's 10 to 23 in the morning. It's time to start writing. And uh, I have a lot of work to do, a whole lot of work to do. Bye for now. How do you increase your work count the right way? I'm not just talking about filler, like padding your novel. To actually increase your work count. I have some ideas about that. My mug from Cafe Press came in. One of the ways that you can increase your word count every day that you write, you increase the speed of your writing, and it it does become a habit when you are writing every day. It's one of the great things about NaNoWriMo is that NaNoWriMo helps you get into the habit of writing every day. But another thing that you can do is keep track of your word count. You will find that you either write better in the morning or at night for some people, writing in the evenings is hard because by then you're tired. Some people find it easier to write in the mornings when you're wide awake, bushy tail. I find it depends. I split my writing up. I write in the mornings and then I write in the evenings, um, sometimes in the middle of the day. Another thing that helps increase your word count is word sprints. I have been participating in word sprints since... I think over the summer is when I first started, but it might have been last NaNoWriMo. Um, and it helps. That what, what Word Sprints does is you use a section of time. It can range anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour, and you write as much as you can during that a lot of time. And there are other people that are writing, and usually it's on Twitter, and people put in a hashtag and you report your word count at the end of that time frame and it helps you going get going really because what happens is let's say you write for a 15 or a 20 minute word sprint I like writing for right around that time about 15 or 20 minutes because I have ADHD and after about 15 or 20 minutes I start losing my focus so usually when I'm sitting at my desk and writing I'll write for usually about 20 or 30 minutes and then I get up and I move around for like five minutes and then I'll go back to the desk and then I'll go back to writing and then I'll get up again and I'll move around for five or ten minutes usually I'm doing something like putting in clothes in the washer or taking clothes from the washer and putting them in the dryer or I'm doing the folding of the laundry or I'll wash a quick bit of dishes I'll sweep Usually I take that break and I'm moving around, getting my blood flowing, and then I come back to the desk and I start writing again. Writing, breaking up your writing up into sections helps you, well, it, it helps you keep from being distracted by all these other things because you're limiting your time writing. 
but you're also moving around or doing something in between those terms of writing. Another thing that might be good is they have virtual write-ins. NaNoWriMo has them. Word Nerds has been having them. Um, hashtag write stuff. We've had a couple. Um, write-ins help because you're not so alone. There are other people out there doing the writing too. And it gets just a tiny bit competitive because you want to write at least a decent amount comparable to other people's writing. And it pushes you, I think, a little bit more. Another thing that you might want to think about doing is skip to a scene you really want to write. If you are writing... And you're at this place where you just really don't like what's going on there or you're not sure about it. Maybe things change some. Don't do a lot of skipping around, but I have this time around and it's helped some. And what I've done is on the scene where I'm not sure about, I'll write a quick little paragraph about what I think maybe should happen in the scene or what I think is a problem with the idea for the scene and then I move on to the next scene and I write the next scene as if that scene has already happened and where I wanted it to go and then I go back to it when I'm in a different frame of mind because now it's changed some because I've written the scene that goes after it. Another thing that you might want to do is remember that words move your story forward, the conflict, the plot, the character arcs and if you need to really add words in you might want to think about maybe adding a subplot because we're still in second week of NaNoWriMo and you still have some room to add in a subplot. Sometimes like the B subplot is usually like a love story, but you could have a C subplot. Maybe someone else in your story is going to have something else happen that's a, a serious thing, a love interest or something like that. You might want to remember that you need to add description. So if you're introducing a new character or a new setting, you need to describe that. Lots of times we forget because we know what our setting looks like. We know what our characters look like, but our reader doesn't. So you might want to remember that you should be adding description, not like, you know, purpley prose description. I mean, although you could technically do that for NaNoWriMo and it would add a lot to your word count, but then you're going to be cutting a lot out. I would remind you that you need to show, don't tell. So when you're putting in a description or something like that, Remember to make sure that the audience has seen it, that you're not just telling the audience. You might want to add points of where, where you missed some things, like if you have some plot holes, you can fill in those plot holes when you're a little bit stuck and you're not quite sure of where to go with the next scene or the next chapter, you can go back and add in information that covers those plot holes. Do not delete. I'm not telling you to take away, I'm not telling you to edit, I'm only ask, telling you to add things in. You also, and these are two things that I do anyway, and they do increase your word count, but I don't suggest that you do them just to do them. I put in my chapter headings, and usually at the beginning of um, the acts or the chapters, I put in a quote. I've seen a lot of books with quotes in them, and I find a quote, I only do this when I find a quote that actually fits my story, if, if I haven't found one, I'll leave it open so that later on, when I can have time to do research, I can research and find a quote that's appropriate for that chapter. I like quotes at the beginning of my chapters. I just have always liked books that had quotes at the beginning of their chapters. Right now I'm labeling my chapters. I'm going to go back through because I am labeling my chapters with tarot cards. That's my suggestion on how to increase your word count but not like padding your novel or adding just filler, just for filler's sake. And that's it for me. I'm going to put all of this together and I will see you again soon. I have a video for, from that I was supposed to do, finish up editing and post on the 10th, but I did not. So I will actually probably add that video tomorrow, maybe. Maybe just like Friday's wrap up video. See you soon. Thanks for watching.